Hello guys, Supersonic Step. We now have the new setup tutorial for the new Noldc Naomi build with the help of Blue Minder, who's did a lot of UI improvements, along with Mario Brother and their contributions. So this setup guide would be the video guide for what we have now. So to find the guide, of course, we have it right here. Uh, if you see our KDMA revision May 30th. Uh, this will be put in the description. You can find all the information here along with the links and where to obtain the information as long as a reference while watching this video. Uh, without further ado, I will get to extracting this uh, file because I've already downloaded it and I will pause the stream for the extraction pro process. So the file has actually finished extracting right here. As we see, the folders look very different. Uh, you would still click on this NullDC launcher.bat and you'll be greeted with this new UI all courtesy of Blueminder and the list of games along with new games like Marvel's Capcom 2 Unlocked which you use that if you want to slash Neo Geo Battle Coliseum and other stuff so what you would first want to do is configure your controls so you would see this control thing right here you hit set up if you have a digital or analog what this means is you have an xbox 360 controller are you using the joystick or are you using something that's digital like an arcade stick or a d-pad so for me i'd click digital up right now sometimes this program glitches a bit and uh messes up your inputs well actually it doesn't mess up your inputs but sometimes if you hit too fast um it'll detect your input too fast so to fix this, uh, you can either try this tool again, or you have this assign LDC joystick buttons tool, and you would do it through command line, D, start, up, uh, up, oh, made a mistake on my own end. So you have to be very sensitive with both apps when you're inputting your controls. So up, oh. yeah, you have to be extremely sensitive, but you can also edit um, that if you're having a problem, so I can show you how to do that too. Up, oh, see, I'll just leave it like this, right? Coin, see, I'll just leave it like that. And all I will need to do is to fix these files. Like, even if you have an error with, um, let's say this one, for example, up, oh, start, coin. Uh, I can just fix that when I go here. So I'll try this again. And I'll show you where to go to fix it if you're still having some problems. Left, right. Coin. So to fix my inputs, as I see hat uh, up and down are both for up. To fix that, you go to null DC 104 and win. You go to Q Code Jamma. You look for your controller. For me, it's this Quamba Arcade Stick. You open it with a notepad. So I already have mine. So up and down, I just need to fix that. Uh, I need to change down to hat zero down, all lowercase. And there you go. That fixed my issue. My issue's fixed. So now my control should work well. It's actually the hardest thing about this and I could choose whatever a game I want so let's say I pick a uh, guilty gear reload this time around I play offline and as you see the frame limiter is actually integrated thanks to blue minder so we don't have to do much for the frame limiter all I have to do is click on the window and the game will launch as normal game should be very loud so let me turn it down in my volume mixer and um, See, technically we're all set up for the offline tutorial real quick. We're pretty much all set. So I just pick a character. Uh, get this going. Pretty much prove all my controls work. All my controls work. So I would exit out of this. 
And uh, let's say you're not playing on a controller, you're playing on a keyboard. Well, you would click this gear icon. You see enable game mapper. You could change player one to keyboard, then change backup to joystick one. This would allow you to use keyboard. Um, and in this uh, edit menu, you could do other stuff. If you're still having problems with like Z axis, which is the cool part about this uh, this tool Blue Miner made, if you're having issues, this tool will actually detect if you have a z-axis button in which remember you either have to change the wiring in your arcade stick or fix it through anti-micro and that would fix the problem and you'll be all set and okay from there uh so now that's done let's talk about online so online of course uh you would set up via radman so i have a, a radman install actually in the all-in-one folder inside of here uh, it's right there if you don't have Radman already but if you do this is where you can connect to people um, let's say this FGC Arcadia world if you guys want to connect to this here's the credentials the password is one two three one two three uh, let's say that so uh, the host if I was hosting a game I would just copy my IP and if I want to see the distance between the client and I, I can put the client's IP down here and use the guest tool. So let's say I put my own IP. It gives me nothing because it would be zero frame delay pretty much because it's my IP. But um, let's say, and then when I'm ready to host, generate host code, I would copy this, send this to the client and I would launch the game immediately. Now it has to be the same game that you guys have set here. So let's say you wanted to play Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, host game, you have your settings, you put in your IP, then you generate the host code, you send the host code. And to join the game, they'll just enter the host code and hit launch. Remember the host has to launch first before the client. Um, some troubleshooting issues is uh, our make sure that this emulator passes through firewall so i know some people had issues connecting or issues hosting and they can only be the client one way to fix that is to go to system and security in your control panel go to firewall allow apps through firewall scroll all the way down and make sure no dc no trace release no trace is checked for all of these because uh, this would allow you to host and pretty much allow a pass through through your firewall. Without further ado, I think that's actually everything. Thank you to Blue Minder, Mario Brother, but especially Blue Minder. And thank you to all of you guys for the support and really growing the FGC Arcadia community. I, this video was long overdue, but I'm glad I actually got around to doing it because Blue Minder really did like simplified this process he optimized everything so i would leave his link in the description below along with the guide and the community where we pretty much play on because this really wouldn't be possible without his contributions so without further ado i'll be ending the recording if you have any questions post it in the comments another thing instead of emailing me uh join the discord and post i've been pretty late on uh responding to emails so that's the best way to get to us and get to me and a community that can help you out. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.